hello this is a test record and then i'm going to say about how exactly it is getting reproduced and then this is for uh, evaluating the software as such good morning and then this is nana and then i'm going to <coughs> conduct a training on this i alfaisal's uh, fusion application as such now and then you can uh, write to me or uh, contact me at uh, apps.nana at iappsconsulting.com so i'm going to begin the session by logging in into the <coughs> fusion application with your username and password i click on signing so we are now signed in and then as soon as you go there you can click on the home page icon and there at the top fine click on this this icon list will be coming up as such now <coughs> which what happens you click on the product management we are going to begin by creating an item as such now click on product management click on so in this we have to go into product information management you're going to begin the product information management so let us create an item and then do the test now <coughs> so we come to this page and then here you click on the icon on the right hand right side top click on the task now and then here i'm going to click on create an item so we are going to begin our exercise by creating an item now click on create an item so here the organization is the master organization which you have to choose now alpha is the right master so you choose the organization and then the class is a root item class so choose the item class as a root item class and then it will not show you a lot of templates in which you have to choose the purchased item template and then bring it to the item side this facilitates all the activities on an item to buy an item to stock an item to transact an item etc so all the basic attributes or the functionalities have been provided by one template now so choose the purchasing item template and then bring it to the right hand side now with this arrow mark with this uh, uh, mock so by which what happens it has been selected as such now click on okay by which this template is applied upon the item and then the item becomes stockable transactable purchasable everything click on okay it is not done <coughs> So we go to the next step in which what happens we are going to name the item i will now say test underscore item six i'm putting it now so let me put everything in caps now test underscore item six and then i will not take a copy of it and then put appropriate description over here now in reality what happens you'll be having an sq code sku code fine <coughs> stock keeping unit code so that you will be entering in and then you'll be having a proper description over here now so that will be doing it while we import an item over there now so as for test is concerned i'm now using a test item message now so sku code will be the item number and then the description as per the description given by you so i will now make it as active here and then the life cycle phase is production i'm choosing these information so then i go there i go to the specifications now <coughs> after having given this i go to the specifications now the primary units of measures has to be mentioned over here otherwise it will be giving error now fine go there it is measured in what so if it is a packing material it will be in uh, different ones like rolls or something like that so for other raw materials it may be in box or bucket or whatever it is let us say choose box over here now so in whichever units you are going to measure that unit sum you have to mention and then afterwards click on the specifications on the left hand side and then here you are going to be the purchase price now fine go down and then click on the purchasing now so in the specifications you click on purchasing it will be giving you a list of value rather it will go to the next screen in which we will not say the list price let us say list price is say 1.5 kd per box it is the box one what are they giving so after having given this what happens you go to the planning tab region in the planning tab region <coughs> after having given the price you click on the planning now you can see the planning coming on the top now so here <coughs> you go further under the replenishment point the minimum days of supply let us say it's is 12 boxes so this is nothing but a weekly consumption fine so this is a weekly consumption which you are recording at the minimum days of supply under the replenishment point in planning now under the planning if you click on the planning planning will be coming up so this is going to be the weekly consumption which you are going to mention now and then if you see the formula over here so the weekly consumption is nothing but picked from item attributes minimum days of supply so when we perform or when we make a report on the raw material summary what happens it will be automatically calculating the coverage for you as total available and divided by weekly consumption <clears throat> so whatever is the balance available divided by the weekly consumption it will now give you the coverage in weeks how many weeks the stocks will last so this is only for the main report taking purposes we are now giving you we are now tracking the weekly consumption in this particular attribute now minimum days of supply so this is the one and then apart from that what happens if it is a packing material <clears throat> you would like to know the weight also this may be for raw materials as well as packing materials fine if it is a raw material it say 12 boxes per uh, week if it is a packing material it may be some 15 rolls or whatever it is whatever may be the units of measures so by which what happens the coverage will be automatically calculated by the system so for uh, uh, your 
packing materials you have to go to the physical attributes if it is a packing material item then you go there in this you drop down and then make the units of measure as kg now fine units of measure as kg now so how many kgs it is going to weigh we are going to make it so let us say it is going to weigh 4 kilos this particular one is now weighing 4 kilos so you mentioned this over here so this is what it is for the packing material summary report apart from your weekly consumption you put it and then you derive the coverage you also mention the weight in kilograms as such picks up from item attribute unit weight so unit weight is a one so through which what happens you are doing so under the physical attributes under the weight you made the units as kilograms under the end and enter the unit weight that we are done so this is only for packing materials you had enter it whereas raw materials you need not have to enter it you need not have to go to the physical attributes at all so this is for information purposes it will be printed on the report as one of the columns as such so having done these informations fine so you go there and then you go to the associations and then associate this item to one of the child dogs now it is now available in the master you go to actions and then go to select an act action select an act so it is asking for the organization press c and then give a magnifier click on the magnifier after having pressed the c you click on the magnifier the magnifier will list down all the organizations we are now going to begin only with the raw metal, raw metal barrels <clears throat> on the day uh, miklos has identified that there is a mistake spelling mistake all these things will be correcting it now as such now so there is a spelling mistake in the material so that will be correcting it later so choose the org over here click on apply and then click on done by which what happens this item is now available in this org you can see c101 so this completes item creation fine the item creation is now completed now <coughs> one second so the item creation is now completed okay fine what else so now let me go on then save it go there and then save and close by which what happens test item 6 is now complete so we are completed it let us now make a purchase order for this now <coughs> item creation is now complete so let us go there click on the again on the on the home page click on home page and then now you go to the procurement now go to the procurement in which we are now going to make a purchase order now and click on purchasing now click on procurement icon and then click on the purchasing by which we will now land up at the purchasing area and then which we are going to create a purchase order we are now going to create a purchase order <coughs> So we will now land up on the purchasing area. Let us now create a new purchase order. So all the suppliers will be loaded by the financial team into the system now. So as of now it is not yet loaded because the list of suppliers have not been given to them. So once when that is given, they will be doing it. So for the test purposes, we have a, we have one supplier as such now. Fine. You click on this icon, the task on the right hand side top, the task icon in which you can go and then click on the create order. So I am going to get a new purchase order for this now. Click on create order. <clears throat> so a new purchase order is going to be created for this now and then we have only one supplier over here i will now say test te and then i will now put a supplier over here now test supplier is available here and the supplier site is coming up over here now and then the contact person of this supplier fine we can even load it while you're creating the supplier as such now so this is the place where he has to supply the material and then the legal entity is now Al Faisal Industrial Group. Now, uh, Miklos wanted to have a change of this to Al Faisal Bakery and Sweets and WLL. So, that will be done very shortly. And then the currency in which you are placing the order, and then who is the purchase officer? So, these are information which are available here. So, all the information will be basically modified based upon the comments. Click on create, by which we will now go to the next screen of creation of the purchase order as such. So, here <clears throat> on the next screen, we are going to say, uh, once when the purchase order is approved, we are going to give what a yeah, notification to the supplier in the form of an email as such. That it is approved. And then you will also be able to see the output, the purchase order output also. So here this is the thing which is coming. So the communication method I am going to make it as email. Make the communication method to the supplier as email and then give the email address over here now. So I am now putting my another email now, apps.nana at gmail.com. So in this email, what happens upon approval, the system will be automatically sending an output over here. So, but in fact here, what happens is the output which is going to the supplier does not have the company logo. And then we already raised a service request with Oracle and then uh, they have given some comments. So we will now try to make incorporated the logo also of the company in the output automatically generated by the system. Apart from that, we have a manual way of generating it, which our technical team has already done. I'll be showing you a yeah, purchase order output of this now. Fine, what else? You go there, go to the emails and then give over here now. And then click on add now.
So once when you click on add, what happens? We are going to add a new item now. It is a test six item. Test underscore item six item. So click on the add in the lines region. I am going to add it now. <clears throat> so a new line is now getting added up now. Fine. Item is test to percentage six is the one. So once when you give a uh, appropriate one, it is not coming as such. I will give test and then leave it as such. It will not give you. So the percentage is not exactly working. So just item six is the one. I am going to choose it now. It will automatically pop up. And then we have one category which has been defined, and then we'll be defining other categories as per this. Now, fine. We are now already defined. We have already decided on two categories. So the items will be associated with the appropriate category. Now there was a problem in the destination type. It was only coming as expense. Now what happens? It has been identified by Oracle, and then and the procedure to change has been given. Now uh, the destination type is inventory, and then I will not choose the sub inventory. Where exactly you want to stock it? Upon receipt from the supplier, I will say raw material sub. So one of the sub inventories will be choosing it now. So you have external chose, external chill, and external frozen is also available. The factory chill frozen is available. So I am now choosing the raw metal sub over here. The price is defaulting from the item whatever you are given. Now he says it is not 1.5. It has to be 1.6. You can make in the make in the change now. You can override it now. 1.6. So you give a tap, <clears throat> and then how much of quantity you need? You have to say now. <clears throat> you go for the the quantity. I am going to mention it now. So let us say. One not one of the quantity. One not one boxes I need now. So now what happens? Uh, the unit sub metal is also defaulting from the place. If you feel that now he is not going to supply in box, this purchase order is going to be in a different one. Let us say in cans he is going to do it. So we can override the unit sub metal recommended by the system as such now. Fine. Now on the purchase order, if this order is got different unit sub metal, you can just mention it over here now. You know that. So even you want it, you are going to say now. Fine. Click on the requested delivery date. <coughs> So let us say eighth is the date on which what happens. You would like to have it now, and that's it. You simply save it. So you have entered, entered all the basic information, the item you have entered, the destination type is inventory, and then the sub inventory name, fine. The price you have entered, and then the quantity you have entered, that's it, fine. And then the rate on which is required. So click on save now. So by which it will be saved as such now. So once when Chura Mani makes this purchase order, he will, he may or he may not give the suppliers email ID. Fine. It all depends upon his requirement as such. So once when that is done, he will be doing it, and then he will now add the item, item, its quantity, its units of measures, the inventory, the sub inventory, and then the ordered quantity, etc., etc. So by which the purchase order creation gets completed. Now he will be submitting it for approval. So in the system, we have now made uh, Miklos as one approval, and then uh, Shoaib Khan as the second approval as a GM. So. The system will be automatically directing it, and then now they have a requirement that what happens? It may be different now. They say up to 2000 crore only Miklos will approve, and then beyond which only it will go to this thing. So those uh, details, once when you get it, you will be configuring it, and then you will be teaching uh, uh, Chura Mani also about how to modify these approval routing. So as of now, you click on the manage approvals, it will be showing you both the routes now as a share. <clears throat> It will now show both the persons who are going to be in the approval path. Now, this can be very easily configured. The configuration process will be taught to you, so that at any point of time, whenever you feel like you can modify this as per your requirements, as such. <clears throat> so it will now generate the approval list, and then it will now show it to you in the system. Now the computer is slightly slow because of which it is taking a longer time now. <clears throat> so the approval process will now follow as per the configuration of. Miklos first, and then Shoaib Khan next. There is a CFO first, and then the GM next now. So you can now see on the bottom, the approval path is now generated. So it will go to Miklos for a first, and then Shoaib Khan as the next one. So this is what is. So he may even click on the manage approvals and then have a look at it, or he will cancel and then he will come to the main page and then from there he will now submit for approval now. So 1029 is the purchase order number. He will now submit for approval. So a notification, email notification will be sent to Miklos. Click on submit. You can now see a email notification will be sent to uh, Miklos now. So the document 1029, so 10029, sorry, 10029 was submitted for approval. So 10029 has been submitted for approval. Now very soon he will be getting an email. So if you go there, I will now go to my this thing now. This is the new email I have given my email for him also for Miklos as well as Shoaib Khan. So here he will soon be getting an email from the system now. System will be directing an email to this place. So he will be having a look at it and then he will now have a look at, he will now download the attached purchase order. It is a draft copy of it now. And then afterwards he will now have a look at it now. 
and then he will not take an appropriate action on approval as such now <coughs> so the email is on the way the system will be generating it now so in uh, internet is slightly slower than uh, it's not working fast as such here so at any point of time what happens you can even very well click on this you can even go to the manage orders he will not at, at, at some other point he will not click on the manage orders chudavani will be checking clicking on manage orders he will now see what are the purchase orders which are now uh, pending different actions now so 1029 is there there is a pending approval column is there if he clicks on it it will not tell you that the approvals are still pending and then it will not tell you the path in which it is now there right the blue mark is now highlighted in blue it has gone to him that is what it says so you can see it is assigned to miklos and then it is not sent to him for approval so you can even have a look at it like this now at any point okay fine you will now say who is presently holding the document as such so he will go there now a message has come now in this place if you click on it so an approval approve option is there so he can either approve or reject fine what is the total amount is a nutshell everything is now shown you so what is the total amount what is the order amount who is the supplier what is the line everything so by seeing the nutshell itself what happens you can now take an action now fine you can even take either approve or reject or if you want to go in detail to it what you will do is you will now download this po so this will be a draft copy of it fine so let me put it on the desktop now so even save it some other place so once when that is done he will now open it up and then have a look at it upon which what happens you can now make a informed decision on the procurement process as such now so click on it you know open the pdf so it's a draft column copy so it's now coming up like this so here also it will be changed to alfaisal bakery and sweets as such now <coughs> so he can see all those things sold to supplier bill to ship to etc etc and then what are the line what are the payment terms when you are expecting it and the required date is what 6th of 8th of june basically so all these things are coming you can even change the format find month the date and the year so on seeing all these things in a draft form what happens he has not decided okay fine he will now approve it and go there so he will now choose the act approval action of click on approve so he will now choose either approve or reject based upon the uh, what's called the highlighted areas otherwise he will now go into the and do it now fine click on approve so in this place what happens he will now mark his comments over here now i will not delete 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 can go ahead with this purchase so some comments he is going to add now so remember that what happens the opening brackets and closed brackets should not be removed and then he has to write within the brackets and then click on send and then the message will be sent back to the system now system will be updated with this comments as such now you know that so let us go on and have a look at the system now as such now fine click on done so after say uh, uh, the next day or some other things he will be again uh, doing this now fine Churamani will again have a look at it now. So he will now again go to manage orders on this now. <coughs> he will now click on it and then he will now go to manage orders. Which what happens? He is going to query the latest order one zero zero two nine. So he can now say it's still pending approval and then he will now click on this order number. So the order opens up for his view as such now. so here you can see this now fine <coughs> and then uh, the status is pending approval he will now click on it is still not open now so once when he clicks on the pending approval it will not show that what happens a tick mark has come against miklos for it that means he has already taken an action and then whatever commands he has uh, passed on you can click on the camera button on this now against his name there is a camera camera icon is there you click on the camera icon it will open up and then it will not show what is the comment he has passed upon while approving it now so next page opens up in which we can have a look at the comments fine go down in the bottom we can observe the comments which he has made now okay fine no doubt now what happens a mail has gone to shoaib khan so we are going to uh, take an action on the mail as such now <coughs> fine go there so this is a mail so i have given the mail ids as mine for both of them now so that's why i am getting all the mails now i click on it and then he will also again take an action now fine he will now download it and then take an action so he will now click on the approve after seeing this now if required he will download it otherwise he will now see on the totally uh, this thing <clears throat> and then he will now say approve he may even either approve or reject it based upon the thing choice click on send the message will be sent back to uh, the system as such now fine you can even see the highlighted areas 
and he has approved it uh, then uh, this word is so he can now take an action on this now fine close it now let us go there and then have a look at the system again <coughs> fine click on done so it's not done so everything comes as a separate tab region as such here so this also you can click on done this will go away and then we are in the manager order screen so let me click on done on everywhere and then go fresh to the manager order so that what happens you will be getting a latest uh, this thing now and close this uh, tab region also now click on the this thing icon and then click on manage orders now <coughs> you are going to have a look at the manage orders and then here you can even see the order status is open now. Fine. Open means what? It is now open for receipt as such now. 10029, click on it. <coughs> so here you can now see the status is open as such now. <coughs> so if you click on the status open or otherwise you can go to the actions and then view document history. In the actions view document history, Chudamani will now view all the comments which have been made by different people as such on the purchase order now. You go there. And then expand this original document, it will now show everybody's comments over here. Fine, all the people's comments are there. So, this completes the purchase order creation, and then now you can see a mail has sent to the suppliers now. A mail has gone to the supplier, so you can go there and see. So, this is here, here this person, Chudamani's mail ID is also mine. So, Chudamani also will now get an email that this is implemented. Implemented means what? This is you know approved by everybody, the purchase order simply. So it has been assigned to the purchase officer as such now. Fine. For him also, I have given my own mail only. So by which he will now get an email information that what happens, he has not done it. Now, supplier will also be given a mail. So a mail has come to the supplier also. I will now go to this place and then have a look at it. So it is supplier, it will now put the, uh, what, uh, the purchase officer's name now. So supplier will now get this mail. It has come from Chumar and Chudamani. Fine. Uh, for him, I have given my mail ID, Chudamani also. So otherwise, it will be Chudamani's mail ID as such now. So he will now see this and then he can download it and then have a look at it. So this system generated PO is not having the logo. We are working on it and then we will now correct it also. So what happens if the system generated PO also will be having a yeah, company's logo as such in this. Apart from that, we have even customized the display of this. Now. So I will now show you the customized display of this particular one. Fine, you go there. I will now show you this now. <coughs> so for which what happens, we have to go to the intelligence and then see this now. Fine, you click on this three strip icon on the left hand side top first of all give it done let us close this now and then see the uh, thing our technical team has uh, now created a customized one in which Chudamani has already given some three comments we will be incorporating them in this week <coughs> and then these are all changeable at any point in time whenever you want any change you feel like look and feel you can very well change so here I go there here I have to go to the reports and analytics in the bottom you click on the three striped icon and then click on the reports and analytics in which our technical team has created our own, your own reports based upon their knowledge they have done it then we can even make a change now so here you click on this open book icon browsing catalog this is what it is you click on this browsing icon so once when you click on the browsing icon it goes to the next screen <coughs> in which you go to the dashboards you click on the dashboards and then you go to the procurement area in fact, I wanted everything to be coming on the main screen itself. Okay, we'll now work on it, and then so that what happens when you come into the reports and analytics, it will be directly be visible. So dashboard procurement, now it's coming. So this area I want to bring it. This is called business intelligence, and then we have created our own report. Click on PO report. It will be showing a report. So this comes over here now. <coughs> so this comes with this selection as such. In fact, you wanted some other report on this now. If you see this now, you want to have a packing summary material report with the date range, as well as you want a raw material summary report with the date range. So once when the technical team develops it, you have to only choose the date range over here. And then it will come automatically. Here, purchase order number as we choose now. So you drop down, and then 10029 is the purchase order number you have to go to choose now. So choose this order and click on apply. Now you can see a blank form is coming up. Once when you apply, the form will be filled up with the data now. Fine, click on this and then click on apply. The form will be filled up with this information now. So it has now come. Fine, it is what it is. 
So 101 quantities. There's no coming total quantities now coming. Now he has given some uh, comments. Now the company name has to be changed to Alfiesel Bakery and Sweets. And then he wanted below the total quantity, the total amount in words also he wants it, and some other comments he has wanted. So they will be done and then it's a continuous process. So whenever you feel something is a better one, better way of uh, uh, doing it, so that will be done automatically. So it will come. It will be a gradual evaluation process. Now we can see the company name and the logo is also coming. So this report, what Chudamani will do is he will now export it to what's called he will now put actions icon and then he will now go to export now click on export as a pdf so this is the actions icon in the actions icon you will now choose exports and then export to pdf as such now so it will be exporting it to pdf so you can even save it so once when you save it it will be going over there he will now be sending this to the supplier as such you will report it there so you can see the report in excel in the pdf form so this report will be uh, sent as an email attachment to the supplier or you can even print it and then send it by your normal means whichever way you feel like and the layout which our technical team has suggested and then at any point in time whenever you want to refine anything further and then add any more columns we can very well do those things taxation they uh, thought that what happens you may be exporting you may be importing it from a supplier who is outside the gulf region so some uh, calculations will be coming up over here so <clears throat> this is what they have done now so this completes report generation manually and then report generation automatically when the purchase order is approved. Now you are going to make a result of it. Now fine, close it. And then let us make a result of it. I will now close down the business intelligence package now. Fine, this is the business intelligence. This is coming through reports and analytics through the navigator now. I will now close it now. And now I go to the home page. Then now I will now go to make a result now. And here also in the system, you will not get a notification. So, uh, when, apart from the email notification, he will also be getting a notification of the bell now. Under the bell, you can now see the notification that it is approved. So it is implemented means it is approved. 1009 is implemented. So that is what it is. He will now click on it and then he will now view it. It will now give you a nutshell of what exactly has happened to the purchase order now. All the order details, everything is now given over here. The uh, order is also attached there as an attachment to this place now, as a PDF. So now we are going to make a result now. Fine. Let us go to the warehouse operations and then let us receive it now. 10029, we are going to receive it now. So here I will now go to the inventory area. Or rather, I will now go to the receipts area. Click on the receipts. So warehouse operations receipts the area where we are going to receive this item as such now from the supplier. So you click on this icon and then it will be going to the next screen in which we are going to receive it now. <coughs> So we come to this area. So after seeing this video, uh, Chudamani, you please uh, create a new item and the new purchase orders and then uh, try to do approvals. They cannot do as such you now because all of them are in my emails you now. Uh, okay, fine. Because once when you are comfortable, I can even uh, switch to your emails basically. <clears throat> and then I will now teach you the process of configuration also later on. Gradually, it will all be taught now on them. So I will now choose the organization drop down and then I'm going to choose the organization as C101 is the organization is the raw metal barrows and then click on OK. It will now show you what are all the expected receipts in this org now. So if you go down and then see this now is a nutshell overview. Fine. If you see. So we have <coughs> there are two lines from the test supplier are expected. That is what it is. So once when the actual consignment comes into your place, the man who is sitting in the receiving section is going to make a receipt now. So it says in a nutshell how many suppliers, how many uh, lines are expected now. That is what it is. And then he will now, the person who is in the receiving area will now click on this icon, right hand side icon. And then receive expected shipments. He will now choose this now. Click on the receive expected shipments. The receiver is now going to perform this activity as such now. Receive expected shipments. We will be giving you training in Arabic also later on. He will now drop down the purchase order as what? 10029. He will now, in the delivery channel given by the supplier, the purchase order number will be mentioned. He will now mention the purchase order number. The due date, he will now make it as blank. Fine, so that what happens. Now it's not, it may not be due immediately. So you make it blank and then click on search now. Put the purchase order number and then search. Ask him to do like this now. So it shows you the line. He will now select the line by going to the left hand side and then click on it. The arrow mark is like this, you can see now. You click on it, the line gets highlighted. You click on receive now. You are going to receive it now. Click on receive. <coughs> it was initially boxed. It has been overed as a can. The purchase order as such now. And then you will now go to the next line. So here 
we are going to say in which sub inventory you are going to receive it is already there in the purchase order number fine how many quantities now supplier has supplied only 51 cans and not one not one cans so put the quantity over here and then click on the create result now so click on create result it goes to the next screen now the date of result also can be modified if it is not today's date uh, let us say two days before you have done it you can do it now fine you can do that so the receipt date is coming up now <clears throat> once again i will not put up So here, <coughs> we come over here. Here, the shipment number can be given, the packing slip can be uh, given, and then the shipping method, and the number of units which has been supplied to the supplier can be given now. <coughs> so the shipment date, all these information you can give. And then apart from that, we have now configured the additional information, <coughs> like the invoice number, which the supplier is going to give. And then uh, from the quality control department, they have told that you would like to uh, record even the expiry date of this product, particular product. But uh, Miklos feels that that may not be required. So we will now have a mutual discussion on what are all the additional information you want to trap. And then I have already taught uh, Chuda Money about how to trap any additional information as desired with the management as such. So if this is not required, I have taught him about how to remove it also and then how to add all those things, whatever the additional information we can add it during reserve now. So the quality wants this number. So I have made it as a mandatory. So now it's asking for a mandatory number. So that's okay. I you can even remove it or you can make it non-mandatory. So invoice number or expiry date or whatever it is, you can even add it. And then click on submit by which what happens a GR and goods receipt note number will be generated. Now. Click on submit. <coughs> So a confirmation is now coming, fine, 100033, this is the GRN number which I have configured, this number also we can very well configure to where to start with, and then it is for one number. So this is what is, it is now completed. So receipt process is now completed, the person who is in the receiving section will now give a done. So this is the way in which he will now receive every item, fine, by clicking on it and then clicking on receive expected shipments, fine. He can even correct the receipts, he can even return the receipts basically, return and then correct. Fine. Inspection is not applicable for you because you are not performing any inspection as such now. Fine. And then we can even create an unordered reserve line and then afterwards we can match it to a purchase order which will be doing it later on because uh, Chudamani told me that some of the items will be coming as an unordered one. So how to create an unordered reserves, I will not tell you, uh, then match it to unordered reserves. Fine. Match it to a purchase order. So but so that what happens, the payables will be in a position to make a payment for this now. First, you will now create an unordered reserve and then afterwards you will now make a PO and then match it. So once when the matching process is completed, you can perform a receipt into the system and then afterwards it will now be pushed into payables for payment as such. This will be taught later on now. So go there. This is now completed. Now we will now go on and see the inventory stock of this now. Fine, click on inventory. You click on the inventory and then here I will now put the item over here. Fine, it is. Uh, you can some of them by writing it, it will be coming automatically here. It is not that icon is not there. Fine, drop it down. And then I will now click on search now. So this will be performed by Chudamani and that will be done by the receiver as such. TE percentage 6 and then click on search now. So we are going to perform a test and then it is not showing you this item. You will not select and then click on OK and then he will now see the stock which is there on the system as such. The item is there and then on and he is going to find click on search now. The organization is also can even make a change if you want. If you click on search, it will be showing you on the bottom what are the quantity which is there as such now. So you can see the quantity is 51. If you expand it, it will now tell you in which sub inventory it has been stocked in. So this is the organization, you expand it further and then you can see in which sub inventory it has been stocked. So this completes the process of creating an item, creating a PO, sending it for approvals, making a receipt and then checking the on-hand quantity in the inventory. Later on, we'll be conducting a training on how to create your own units of measures and then how to make an unordered receipt and then make a purchase order and then match it and then afterwards the related uh, contents. The first of the video on MP4 as such now, fine. If uh, this is okay and then if you are able to view it clearly, please uh, send a message to me so that what happens, the further videos will be made on this MP4 format as such. Thank you, this is Nana here and then we will now meet on the next training session now. Thank you.